Hi guys, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to photograph four creative portraits using one light. Before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so because I will be giving away a MagMod starter kit or a MagMod basic kit soon. So if you want to get notified when I upload that video, make sure to click that notification bell. And if you want to see some of my images, you can follow me on Instagram. And at the same time, I actually do some quick announcements there. And my Instagram handle is at Jiggy Alejandrino. So a lot of you guys have been asking me if I do workshops and I actually used to do a lot of workshops before this pandemic. So now I have to resort to doing virtual workshops, but it actually, it's actually a blessing in disguise because I've been enjoying doing one-on-one -on -one virtual workshops with you guys. So if you're interested to know more about that, just send me a DM on Instagram and let's talk there. And trust me, it's a fantastic way of learning because I tailor fit everything to what you need to know or what you want to know. In other words, it's not like a generic workshop that you sit down and I explain to you the same things that I'm explaining here in YouTube, but rather I am tailor fitting it to what you want to learn specifically. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's talk about this video that I'm doing now. So as I said in the intro, I'm going to be doing four creative portraits with just one light. And the light that I will be using will be this one. This is my Nanlite Forza 60. So what is this Nanlite Forza 60? Basically, this is a continuous LED light that's 60 watts. It's daylight balanced to 5600 Kelvin. And the beautiful thing about this stand light is that they have a CRI rating of 98, meaning when they say that it's 5600 Kelvin, you're 98% sure that it's 5600 Kelvin. But this one alone won't give me the creative portraits that I want or that I'm going for for this video. That's why I will also be using this one. This is the NAND light projector attachment. So what is this projector attachment? It basically connects here to this NAND light Forza 60 and it now creates a focused beam of light. So inherently this one creates a circle. So as you can see here, it's a circle. Then you have this um, knob here that will allow you to push and pull this one for, for you to be able to achieve focus. So in other words, you can have a fully focused circle or you could have a circle that's a bit blurred depending on the creative images that you want to do. Now, these things here that are protruding are actually like, they actually act like flags. So instead of having just a circle, you could create a rectangle, a square, a triangle, basically basic shapes you could create with this one. So the beautiful thing about this Nanlite projection attachment is that it comes also with options to project patterns on your subject or on the wall. So I've got here like four different patterns and all you have to do is put it inside here and then insert it here and it's gonna project the attachment already to your subject or where you're facing it to. So this will be the backbone basically of our creative portraits for today. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's start shooting. All right, so as you guys can see, my lovely wife Coco is joining us today to be our model. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. You look lovely today. Who did your makeup? Oh, um, I wanted to say thank you uh, to Mela Jimenez uh, for helping me doing my makeup virtually today. Okay, so mm -hmm. we'll leave a link in the description below with some details for Mela if you guys some, need some makeup artist that, that you could call on and she can help you guys virtually, right? Fantastic makeup, I love it. Mm -hmm. So, and again, thank you very much to Hollyland for sending over the Hollyland, Mar the Hollyland Lark 150. Now, Coco has a mic on her so you could hear her lovely voice also as well as see her beautiful face. Okay, so, all right, so babe, sorry for a while, okay? You don't mind, I'll just run through all the settings of the camera, okay? So I'm using my Sony A7R Mark IV now with a 24 to 70 2.8 lens. So my camera is set on aperture priority. I will explain to you guys later on why I'm shooting with aperture priority, but basically since we're shooting with continuous light, I can actually control my exposure dependent because I can make my light stronger, weaker, bring in the ambient light, and I will fix my exposure using this one, my exposure compensation dial. 
Then I will now set my white balance. My white balance I will set to 5600 Kelvin because that is the color temperature that this particular lens uh, light is rated at. So there, I'll put it at 5600 Kelvin. And as with everything, I said thank you already to Hollyland earlier, but I'm saying thank you again for sending over the Mars 400S Pro. This is the one that's connected here. It's actually transmitting a Wi-Fi signal from my camera that's picked up by my phone, and that's the where I am recording so that you guys can see a first person's perspective or basically what my camera is seeing, you guys are seeing now. And at the same time, I have it connected here to my desk view monitor with the Hollyland 400S receiver so Coco can see how she looks like after every shot. Don't you like it? This is a good option, right, babe? Yes, it's very helpful. Okay, perfect. And she can see her post. That's, that's the most important thing. So, but you have to remember, you always have to remind them when we're shooting this way to always look at the camera because they might have a tendency to look towards the, the screen. Okay, so now I have here my Nanlite, my Nanlite Forza with a, with a projector attachment here. And as you guys can see, it's actually projecting a very nice circle around Coco. As I was explaining earlier, there's a knob here underneath that allows me now to defocus the background, as you guys can see, or the projection. So I can make it defocus or I can make it sharp. But for this particular, for this particular layout, I think I want it sharp, just like that. All right, so let's start shooting. Okay, so that's perfect, babe. Can you lean forward, please? Soften your hands. There, perfect. Nice, very nice. Look at me straight, good. Very nice, okay. So, we're starting off with this one, but I don't want to see my backdrop. In other words, I just want the light focused on her. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put my exposure compensation to, let's say, minus three. Now at minus three, I feel that she's a bit underexposed, so I will just increase the power now of the light, so which I can do here in the back. There we go. So right now, I am overpowering my existing ambient light. Normally, I could actually turn off the ambient light now, but since we're shooting a video, I want to keep that ambient light there. Okay, babe, one more, please. Very nice, look at the camera straight. Very nice, beautiful, I love that. Okay, what do you think? Take a look at it. Okay, I think we're, st we're a bit underexposed, so I'm gonna bring it maybe to just two stops under. Since we made this light stronger already, we're no longer getting any of the existing ambient light. There, maybe, there we go, perfect, that's it. Tilt your head this way a bit, too much. Okay, look towards the, look towards the light, uh, sorry, to look towards the lens, perfect. I like that. Very nice. Your left hand, softer fingers, please. There. Okay, and one last. Perfect. I think we're good with that one. Okay, so that's how simple it was. It's a first layout. As I said in the intro, we're going to be doing four layouts today. So let's just reset the light and do something different, okay? All right, for this layout, I have my light here and it's projecting still the same circular pattern on Coco. But as I said earlier, this attachment, this projector attachment has options for us to be able to control the shape of the light internally. So by moving this um, flags in, I can now create, let's say maybe a more rectangular shape there so that it looks like uh, there's just really this streak of light that's, that's focusing on Coco there. All right, let's see how that one will look like. Let's see the back of my camera. All right, so as you guys can see now, I think Coco's a bit overexposed. So instead of making that light weaker, I will just use exposure compensation here and make her darker, perfect. Now with this particular scene, babe, do you mind doing a, a more intimate pose? Like for example, it's like, I don't know. You know what to do. All right. <laughs> okay. I'll okay. Try. All right. Okay. Can you give me one, please, babe? Okay. One, okay. two, three. A more dramatic pose. Can you close oh. your eyes? Sorry. Okay. There. Oh, I like that. Ooh. Wait. I think I'll zoom out a bit so that you can see more. Okay. Adjust exposure. All right. Okay. One more. I like that. Chin up, close okay. your eyes, tilt your head going here. There. 
Very nice. I love that, babe. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's layout number two, or creative portrait number two. But as I discussed earlier, this particular light has options for us to be able to project patterns. With this particular scene, I actually like it a lot, but I feel that it's missing something. And this one might work perfectly. This one will give us the look of blinds. So all I have to do is insert it here and bring it to the light and insert it there. So let's do that. Let's take a look at this one. Now, we need to be able, to, we need to focus the light, whether or not I want the blind scene or there we go. So now I, you can see the shadows in the back are properly focused, but it's not too distracting in her face. All right, let's take one more shot, let's see. I think babe, the same pose would be perfect for this one. Okay. All right, good. But you know, oh, that's nice, that's nice, that's perfect, that's perfect, I like that. Maybe face face a bit more to your left, or to your right. Uh, I know, move, move a tiny bit to your left so that, there, perfect, good. And then angle your body, left shoulder towards me, okay, some more, and then right shoulder going out, and uh, then face going out, sorry, yes, there, that's perfect. Then bring up your hand here, then chin down. Going there, good. All right, I like that. Chin down a bit, good, beautiful. Let me, okay, so for the final layout, I will put another pattern here and let's see how that will turn out. Okay, as you guys can see for this last layout, I brought our light back here and I put in a different pattern. This time it's, well, for me right now, it's a bit distracting. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna defocus it again. There we go, beautiful. All right. Babe, can we get into the pose that you were thinking of doing for this particular shot? Okay. So that I can fix the light. Oh, beautiful. Can you angle your body towards the light this way and then face me? How nice. That's perfect, actually. I don't even need to do anything anymore. That's beautiful. You like it? And as you guys can see, I'm actually adjusting my exposure on the fly. If I want it brighter, I'll just do exposure compensation to make it brighter. And sorry, babe, you're holding your pose. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and if I want it darker, I can not actually just make it darker using exposure compensation. So it's quicker for me to be able to shoot this way. And that's one of the reasons on why I like shooting with continuous light. Okay. So let's do a few more layouts, babe, mm -hmm. one before, mm -hmm. before we end this. Same pose. Same pose, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, nice, that's it. Oh, move your face this way a bit. Not lean, uh, move forward a bit. There, that's it. Oh, wow. Chin down, then move here. Your entire body. Oh. Up too much, too much. Bring it back there and then face me. Okay, that's it. Beautiful. All right, so that's four creative portraits using just one light. So to recap, the light that I use is my Nanlight Force A60 with a projector attachment to it. The camera that I used was an A7R Mark IV with a 24 to 70 2.8 GM. I shot everything using aperture priority. The live feed that you saw was basically because of my Hollyland transmitter that I'm recording to my phone. And basically the the, the heart of the entire creative process today was this one really, the projector attachment. So again, we started with just a basic circle. Afterwards, we used the built-in flags to create a square that looked like a window. Then we added some uh, patterns to it to make it look like blinds. And after which we're using this one, which I actually call the tree. So again, babe, thank you very much for supporting this video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, click that notification bell, because as I said earlier, I will be giving away a MagMod Mag uh, basic kit and a starter kit. So you would want to get notified when that video does come out. And if you want to see more of my images, you can always follow me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. And if you like what you saw, basically, as I said earlier, I am going to be giving a series of workshops or a series of one-on-one -on -one workshops. So stay tuned for that. Or if you want to know more, you could always DM me on Instagram. Okay, so till the next video.